that comes in English language and as well in EBS, right? So we are going to learn the basic of the English that is the cursive writing. So what is the cursive? So cursive is the style of writing and we are writing a word with connected letters, right? In the cursive writing, the letters are run into one another and that make our hands run on the page. Yes. Ensure we have to write words, sentences without lifting a pencil or pen in between. Right? Hame bina pen or pencil beech mein utha hai, hame usko continue flow mein likhna hai. So how you will write? Let's learn. So we will start from capital A to small capital Z. So this is you can see that I have drawn the margin line that is given in your notebook. Now, in the one line we are writing four letters, right? So first I will draw four lines so that will be clear to you also how to write in a notebook. Okay, so let's start. So first A, you will have to make a curve like this, go up to the red line, come back to the blue line, make a curve again and touch to the blue line. This is called capital A. Okay. Next from red line to blue line. Make a curve like this. And go up to the red line. Make a three type of curve. This is three likhte hai. Same thing you will have to write. This is called capital B. In C, start from the blue line. Move up to the red line. Make a little bit curve and come back to the blue line. That is capital C. Make a slanting line, make a small curve and go back up to the red line and make a curve like this and leave it. That is called capital D. Move in the next line. As I taught you, we will write four letters in one line. So in the first line A, B, C, D. Then now. Move to the next. Now, the upper blue line, we have to start from there. Go to the red line, come back to the other blue line and again this. This is called capital E. Now, from here, make a curve like this. Slanting line and like this. Make small curve and then slipping line on the blue line. Okay, this is capital F. Now moving to the capital G. Make a slanting line and make one curve up to the blue line. Come back to the bottom red line and make a curve like this. This is called capital G. Next, make a small slanting line, again standing line and leave it. Now after one finger space, you can make one more standing line and go up to the between. Make a curve and touch to the next line and leave like this. This is called capital H. Next about I. We have to make a little bit curve like a nose. Then come slanting line and write like this. Make a curve like this. Slanting line and leave it. This is called capital I. I and J look similar but the difference is only that I touch to the blue line and whenever you will write the J that will touch all the four lines. Red line, come back to the blue line and then bottom red line and go back to upper blue line. Right? You are aware how many lines we are using? One, two, three, four lines and in between two red lines white space is there. That I have not drawn here because that is not in the use. Okay. We just have to use this four lines. Red, blue, blue and red. Okay. So after J, K will come. So make a small slanting line. Come back to the blue line and then start from the red line. Make a curve like this and like this. That is called capital K. Okay, next, make a slanting line from red, blue to red, make a curve, standing line up to blue line and curve it again and leave like this. L. Then next line, start from the blue line, go up to the red line, 
come back to the blue again red again blue that is called capital m same as we do in the l also start from the blue line go to the red line come back to the blue line and again go to the red line and leave it so m will end up to the blue line the last blue line and and will end on the red line okay now we'll move to the o o we have to start from the blue line we'll have to make a like c first hum pura c jaisa complete karenge then again go to up and then just leave it okay once again i'm saying start from here go up to the red line come back to the blue again go to the up so we have to make capital o p start from the red line touch to the blue line make a curve go up to the red line and make a curve up to the upper bottom blue humne jo upar ki upar jo top blue hai wahan tak aapko curve karna hai okay after p q will be there so start from the blue line go back to the red line come to the blue line and again go to the red line once again come to the blue line and make a curve like this it will be little more difficult how to write once again i'm teaching you start from the blue line first you will have to make o once you have done o again you will have to make c and then curve that is called q r red line to blue line make a curve come back to the blue line and to the bottom blue line okay capital r s we will start from the blue line go back to the up and make a curve like this and we'll write s okay make a curve like this that we have done in the app and make a slanting line and leave like this this is called capital t right in the t and f you can find one difference t and f almost looking similar but in the f we have to put the slipping line and in the t we are not putting any slipping line okay after that start from the blue line go to the red line come back to the blue line again go up to the blue red line come back to the blue line so start from blue move to red again blue again red again blue that is u same as in b start from the upper bottom blue line go back to the red line come back move to the red line and make a curve like this that is v same as in the blue similar v jaisa humne kiya half uske jaisa hi hoga right so start from the blue line touch the red line come back to the blue line again go to the red line again blue line again red line and we have to make a curve like this so this is called w okay now start from the blue bottom line make a curve like this and come back make a opposite c yani hum ulta c banayenge then again we have to take it up to the red line and make a correct c okay don't have to lift your pencil up okay x and then y so start from the blue line go up to the red line make a curve again touch the blue line go up and come back down and make it curve so this is also like j jaise humne j mein four line use ki thi same or same this we have to use four lines in y also start from the blue go to the red again come to the blue again red again bottom red then make a curve and the last start from the blue line go up come back to the blue line and again make a curve like this and move this is called capital z so this is how we have learned the capital cos
Okay?